Sing praise to our Creator, O sons of Adam's race, God's children by adoption, baptized into his grace. Praise the Holy Trinity, Undivided unity, Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, every year we gather here in our parish cemetery to pray God's mercy and blessing on all our beloved dead who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. I welcome you all to this Mass and pray with you for all of our loved ones that they are at peace with God in heaven and that God in his mercy forgives them of whatever failings they may have had and welcomes them into their eternal reward. In a special way during this Mass, we pray for all those families who have been bereaved over the past year or indeed throughout the COVID-19 pandemic when it has been so difficult for you to grieve in the customary way that we're used to. Still today, as we gather in this beautiful place, this peaceful and sacred place, we pray for you and for your loved ones. And we will have the blessing of the graves. I know that you yourselves will be able to come in your own time to pay a visit to the graves of your loved ones. But today, we want to assure you that the graves are all being blessed in the normal manner on your behalf, on behalf of the church here in this Cathedral Parish of St. Patrick in Armagh. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, make known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen now to God's word. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the mourning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth 
for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we, and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He leads me. The quiet waters by my soul he doth restore again and me to walk doth make with the path of righteousness in for his own name's sake. Ye do I walk in death's dark will Yet will I fear non heal, for thou art with me at thy rod, and sat me comfort still. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way the resurrection of the dead has come through one man. Just as all die in Adam, so all will be brought to life in Christ, but all in their proper order. Christ as the first fruits and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that your Son may be glorified with you. And through the power over all mankind that you have given him, let him give eternal life to all those who you have entrusted to him. An eternal life is this, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth and have finished the work that you have given me to do. Now, Father, it is time for you to glorify me of the glory that I had with you. Before ever the word was made, I came to know your name, and to the men you took from the world to give to me. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now at last they know that all that you have given me comes from you indeed for you have given them the teaching that you have given me and they have truly accepted this that I have came from you and have believed that it was you who sent me. 
I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those that you have given me, because they belong to you. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and in them I am glorified. I am not in the world any longer, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in a few moments we will be blessing the graves of your loved ones. And as we sprinkle the holy water on each grave, we will be praying that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit will be with them. In fact, that prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit is central to our faith. The Holy Trinity, three persons in one God. That beautiful prayer of the sign of the cross is perhaps one of the first prayers that we ever learn. I remember seeing a young mother with her child in her arms, taking the little baby's hand and making the sign of the cross. And I'm just thinking that that probably happened myself and many of you too. The very first prayer we were ever taught was in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And that prayer follows us throughout our lives. We are baptized with water being poured three times on our head in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Whenever we receive the Eucharist, we often make the sign of the cross immediately afterwards. And I know also that in so many of the sacraments, that prayer is central. Uh, Those of you who remember the day of your wedding, uh, the ring is placed on your finger. Uh, Wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And also, of course, even at the moment of our death, whenever the priest would come to anoint us, he anoints us on the forehead and on the palms of our hands with the oil of chrism, making that same sign of the cross. I know also when I look around at the many graves here in our parish cemetery that one of the key moments at the burial of someone is when the grave is blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the sign of the cross, the sign of the Trinity follows us throughout our lives. I know that I like to see people when they're walking past the church Uh, or passing by any church making the sign of the cross. It's a lovely custom and I would encourage you to keep that alive in your own families because in a way it asks for God's blessing on us at every moment of our lives from our first breaths right through until our final breaths. We're praying that the Holy Trinity will be with us always. I'm conscious that we're here in the shadow of St. Patrick's Cathedral And knowing that when St. Patrick came to this country, he had to teach people who had many gods of all different kinds, he had to teach them that there is one God, but three persons. And of course, the story goes that he plucked the shamrock from the ground and used that to teach people the mystery of the Holy Trinity. So I pray today, as we bless these graves, that God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit will be with you, your families, and with your loved ones, those who are still with us and those who have gone before us. May the Lord bless all of us gathered here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we have our prayers of the faithful where we pray for our own needs, the needs of the church, the world, And of course, we remember our beloved dead. God of love, you have called us to the life of resurrection by raising us in Christ from the dead. Raise up all the people of this parish community who have now departed from this life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We think of all who have died over this past year within our community. In baptism, they were all given the pledge of eternal life 
and may they now be admitted to the company of the saints in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember all our loved ones who have died, family members, neighbours and friends. We think too of deceased priests who served in this parish and who have now been called by God to their place of rest. May they enjoy the fullness of new life in the peace of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember in silence those who are dear to us, and we bring before God the names of those people who lie close to our hearts and who have gone before us to their place of rest. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who mourn today, and especially those who have been bereaved recently, that they may feel the healing power of Christ in the midst of their pain and grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the whole church, and especially the people of our parish, that all of us may prepare worthily for the hour of our death, when God will call us by name to pass from this world to the next. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. If you'd like to take a moment now just to remember your own loved ones who have died, bring them to mind. Thank God for them and for their lives. Pray God's mercy on their souls. They are united with us in prayer. And please, God, are joining us at this very moment as we praise God with them. Eternal rest grant unto them all, O Lord, that perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We now prepare the bread and wine for the altar. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me. Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, the oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance for what you have revealed to us of your glory we believe equally of your son and of the holy spirit 
so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, he is Lord, he is Lord. He is risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Eamon, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants and all those who are buried in this cemetery, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your, and with your spirit. spirit. And I pray peace in your home, in your hearts, with your family and friends and loved ones. I pray peace for our parish community. I pray peace for our country and for the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. If you'd like to join in an act of spiritual communion, pray with me. My Jesus, I truly believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray.
May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can I invite you uh, sometime over the coming days and weeks or over the summer to visit the graves of your loved ones here, perhaps bring some holy water with you, or if not, just stand at the grave and offer your own blessing because each one of us is able to pray God's blessing. And as you do so, just maybe to make the sign of the cross over the grave of your loved one, praying that they are at peace in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you always. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail Gloria, Saint Patrick, dear Saint of our Isle. On us, thy poor children, bestow a sweet smile. And now thou art high in thy mansions above. On Erin's green valleys, look down in thy love. On Erin's green valleys, on Erin's green valleys, on Erin's green valleys, look down in thy love. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the world. The rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Praise every morning God's recreation of the new day Morning has broken like the first morning Blackbird has spoken like the first bird Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the world, fresh from the world, fresh from the world.